now we get to episode four. Uh, uh, this is going to be a busy episode. Anyways, uh, hello everybody, it's me Dean Spillabine back on your screen playing some Satisfactory on the 20x20 20 20 foundry, foundation world, not a foundry, jeez. I don't even know how you get a, get a foundry world. Anyways, I have been a little bit busy in the form of AFK, <laughs> and uh, well, if we look kind of close, I got a bunch of rotors, those are all backed up, which is nice and get all of the bottom storages, but that's fine. I think that's enough for now. Reinforced plates are maxed out. A lot of the uh, lower stuff is also maxed out as well. I've also been doing some fixmas work here, so I'll go to the top. I get a bunch of items that's uh, used to do some fixmas stuff. And in terms of fixmas things, I'm trying to wait for me to get this Christmas wreath unlock thing. But it requires these items, and I'm just kind of slowly getting those. However, I've got more pressing matters. And uh, basically, I need steel if I want to get the next tier of conveyor belts and actually uh, get into the game more. <laughs> and if I get conveyor belts, that basically just means my miners can actually uh, send me more resources a lot better, and I don't have to have so many conveyor belts running around. Although that's the ideal thing, I think I'll still have just as many, it's just more dense. I do have the ability to make steel, I just don't have it automated. I guess I could get this calendar thing out of the way. I want it to be at least somewhat consistent while Fixmas is going around. Where is... 14? I get coal... Flame... 12? I get... What the heck is... What? A superposition oscillator. What? I've never seen that before. Used in teleportation tech and dimensional manipulation. What the hell? Uh, okay. I'm going a bit out of order because I'm just finding whatever. Bows. 17. Fix my tickets. That's actually kind of nice. 13. Some candy canes. 20. Some quantum compute. What? Uses bits instead of normal bits, which makes it faster than a traditional computer. I mean, that, that's what it is, but why is it here? 18, I guess, some snowballs. 15, I get some ornaments. 19, I get... Oh, that's a ton of tickets! I'm gonna spend all those real quick. 21, and I get some more ornaments. I think I'm all caught up. Yeah, it's the 21st as of the day of the recording, and probably by next episode I'll have the rest of this done. Also, I didn't know I get fixed miss tickets, so now I gotta spend them. I have 30! That's a lot! I'm gonna use them to get the last foundation pack, various walls, and that basically just unlocks some more uh, decorative stuff. Nothing entirely useful, but good for remodeling. Oh! Uh, also, probably next episode, I'm going to do an entire remodeling of my crazy 20x20 factory. Because this thing is uh, getting pretty big, and it's also a bit messy. So I think episode 5, I'm going to try and get a bunch of stuff laid out to make it nicer. But uh, I'm going to save that entire cleaning business for the next episode. Uh, right now, I want to get steel production underway. Okay, so, steel. How do I get steel? Good question. Uh, if we look here, I need 45 iron per minute and 45 coal per minute. Problem. I, uh, I need, I need coal. Because practically the only accessible coal right now is being used for my coal generators, which that's all of them right there. So I guess I gotta go get some coal. I guess while I'm doing this, some quick math, uh, 45 per minute is required for each of them in terms of the coal. And iron, I can find that from somewhere else. So just for two foundries, I need 90, 90 per minute. Oh jeez. Still love the speed that you can go on this. So just some quick maths, uh, 120 per minute, because that's all that our combatables can work with, divided by 45. So I can only have 2.6-ish, 2 and 2 thirds steel foundry thing of a bobbers. So steel beams require 60 steel ingots per minute, and steel pipes require 38 ingots per minute. 
So just doing some quick maths, if I can get 45 coal per minute going into it, I'll get 45 per minute out. Which, if I can get two foundries working together, I can get steel pipes pumping out very nicely. But then I'll need 60 per minute from steel ingots to get the steel beams, which annoyingly enough isn't very even. Well, I guess I could just find any coal that I can find, uh, and just try to implement it into the system. Is there any nearby? No? Oh. If we look at the map, there's some over there. No, they're impure! No! That only means I can get 60 a minute from that, so I gotta find some more somewhere. Looking at where it's at, I think I can actually combine it with the with one of these other conveyor belts and just minimize the amount needed to transport everything. <laughs> Wait. Oh, this this was clipping the whole time. Oh my gosh. Let's see. How about that? There we go. Oh, they're right here. Nice. Alright, putting down some miners. And get a merge thing going. Get those connected. Get those two powered. And now they should be outputting at 60 a minute. So now, now I gotta go join it with the other node that's over there. I'll probably need to go back and get some refined plates or something. I keep saying it's refined planes, but it's actually... Wait... <laughs> There's a little slug! Get... Whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh, oh no, my leg! My leg broke! Why can't I get to him? I can't... I can't get to him. Oh, that's weird. I'm just gonna put a stamp right there. So, uh, that'll remind me. That, that's the thing I gotta figure out. And let's see, that one's the normal node, so let me destroy you real quick and just merge you with that one. Upgrade and upgrade you up to there. Get you connected to the other one. It's too steep. So get you up there and get you connected to the other one. Yeah. Now I gotta... Oh uh, yeah, I need, I need more refined plates. Luckily, I got this handy dandy zipline to get me back there lickety split. Oh, well, unless I overshoot. <laughs> oh. Hold, hold on. Oh, this conveyor belt wasn't even connected to anything. <laughs> so I guess I might actually have a uh, hundred twenty or two hundred twenty, so two forty coal coming in, which is actually hold on, quick math. So two forties coming in. Divide that by forty-five, and I can have five and one third foundries, and I can probably just work with five. I'll probably just need some more math ematics and figuring up what I can do with all that coal. Uh, but uh, for the moment, let's uh, actually complete the road of conveyors. Hmm, I just thought of something. Oh, heck. So, that, so this one's a normal. Oh. So in actuality, this uh, actually goes to its own normal node. Mm. Uh, you know, I, th I think it should still be fine. I'll, I'll fall to my death. I think it should still be fine. I'll just uh, do some fancy edits, I guess. Upgrade, upgrade. Whoa, upgrade. Uh, upgrade at a distance. So yeah, this one gets into here. So it's 120 getting added with another 60. So, obviously that can't take it. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna delete 
this real quick. And just you there. So that gets connected. And just conveyor belt this uh, 60 a minute on its own little little way over. Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned, but you also get these cool giant fixed trees. And I just spent a bunch of resources and planted a bunch of them everywhere. They're not even trees, they're like really convincingly fake trees. Oh boy, the first thing I'm gonna do when I get steel is probably just spend some time and... Do I actually want to spend time and just fix a bunch of these, like condensing them down? Eh, probably not. I just, I just want to place nicely. Get close to the edge. Go up a bit. Yeah. How about now? Yeah, now you can. Nice. So, uh, that one's an empty 120, and this is a 60 coming in, so I have 180 coming in? 180 divided by 45 is exactly 4! You know what? This is actually a blessing in disguise. I don't have to do complicated annoyance math. If I can navigate it, miss the thing up. <laughs> okay, so with how we got coal and iron coming in, should, should be able to get four of these along here. Get conveyor belts to those guys. Get you over here. You are going on the other side into that merger. Which will then combine into these other guys to get the rest of the coal distributed. Okay, so with how steel is going to be created, I... let's see... I need 60 a minute for steel beams, and I think steel beams are going to be more important. So if I can, I want to have as many of those as possible. So let's see, 45, 90... Man, I'm not that good at math. 45 plus 45 plus 45, 135. Let's see, so that merges into there, so that's a 90. And... Let's see, overflow... will come into this one. That's 90 though, so I need one more here. No, uh, merger? with you uh, and get a splitter yeah okay so 180 coals coming in I'm gonna have to match that with the iron and it needs 60 so I can only have three constructors working on steel beams although I want to try and at least have a couple of these for steel pipes because that's just another thing I'm gonna need and since I'm adding in some new items to the system, let's uh, let's see how it looks with it expanded. So let's see, that one's going to be steel beams and that one's going to be steel pipes. I don't have proper signs for them at the moment, which I'll probably fix eventually. At some point I really do need to streamline the process of items getting out of the factory into my storage area. Uh, this is getting a bit complicated. Alright, get you connected there, you connect there, and look, here they come, the steel beams, the steel pipes, coming down on their conveyor belts. At long last I have steel production. It's been so long since I've had steel. Well, now it's being produced, so uh, I guess we can wait a while and see how many we can, how much I, I get later. Uh... I guess while we're waiting, I can try to map out where I can put some more coal generators. That's something to do. The real question is, how easy is this gonna be? My hope is that it's easy peasy lemon squeezy, but uh, it's hard to say sometimes. Okay, let's bring you guys up. Oh, oh wait, I can't put them here because it's next to, wait, can I put anything here? Right. Oh, I can't even put... oh, no. 
my plan was that I could just put them right here, but I guess since it's within these guys' clearances, they are not allowed to. Oh, <sighs> well, ain't that a bummer. Uh, how high do I need to go before I can actually work on it? Uh, I can't put it right here. Can I put it any further down, though? Let's see, so just as a test, I can't... Oh, wait. I can put it here. And that's probably because it's, like, on the very edge of what it allows itself to be on. That's my guess. So, how many can I put into this line here? Oh, <laughs> you can't go there. I always forget how crazy large these uh, generators actually are. Let's see, are you okay with being here-ish? Yeah? Something like that. Or I guess I could just put them above it. That will definitely be a uh, huge jump in scaling levels, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so up here, uh, floor too steep. Oh, let's fix that. Alright, are you okay with being up here? Yeah, okay. What about being closer? I can actually put them up here. That's nice. Okay, so different levels here. Boop, boop, zoop it out a bit. Now I'll remove this stuff later. I'm just testing limits, basically. So I can put it here, but I can't put it in further. That's because the floor is steep, actually. So... No, I can't put it here. Ideally, figuring this out can give me uh, like a few extra generators in a small area. So about there is its clearance limit, I guess? But can it go a bit smaller? No. So in conclusion, looking at that, how high is that? Uh, three... About, so... About four four meter foundations is its clearance limit. That's neat. So that means I can actually build pretty far this way. And ideally I get as close as I can to it. Alright, so just putting down a bunch of these, what does that look like? Okay, so looking at it, I could probably fit another row here, but I need to do a bunch of work for that, and I don't, I don't want that to be the focus of this episode. Uh, this one's just going to be more steel production, and now that I actually got that going, I can probably uh, afford to work on some more other things, like uh, Caterium and Quartz, and get that in process. But, main thing, yay, I got Mark III Conveyor Belts! That's amazing. Reach. Logistics can be improved with a larger storage container and enhance. Yeah, I, I'll explain that, I guess. So the main thing is that I can get a better conveyor belt. I can transfer many more resources per minute. So there's a Mark II with only 120. Mark III is 270. I don't know why it's 270. It's not exact double. Then of course there's a better conveyor lifter, and there's also stackable pipelines. Also got an upgraded storage box, which is basically this and uh, the main coolness of it is that it has two inputs and two outputs also has like double the storage in it main thing that I can actually use that for is convert all of my storage here into just double storage so that means I don't have to merge the bottom one with the top one or anything like that although I don't think I need to really do that maybe possibly I don't know that's gonna take a lot to fix I'll think about it. Although another thing that's going to be pretty useful is the uh, power storage module. Basically power storage is just literally storing power. So in times that I don't have stuff that makes me go over capacity of my generators, it'll fuel the battery so that whenever it does go over 
you can go off of the battery for a little bit. So in the case that my fuse gets blown, it doesn't because it's going off of the battery for a little bit. Although that only saves me maybe some amount of time. It's still a problem that needs to get fixed, but it's a really nice, helpful safety net. <gasps> I just realized I can get the blueprint designer. Okay, I need, I need some parts. Hold on. Oh gosh, I'm just so happy I can actually get to the rest of the game. I've been stuck in here for so- Stanley! Stanley! St Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! Alright, I, I can't wait to actually, like, test out the blueprint designer. I can't do that this episode, because I think I'll save that for episode 5, when uh, I'm doing some remodeling. But, uh, basically, the blueprint designer is a big box that you can do stuff in. And basically, you can put designs in this box and can save them as blueprints that you can just basically mass produce. But yeah, I'll just go over that in episode 5, because I think that would be really cool. <laughs> and also, this one... Make sure that's done. Alright. I got advanced steel production. Milestone reached. And then what that got me was a tier 2 miner, which is pretty cool, where it basically is twice as effective as a normal miner. Except it needs industrial beams, which I don't have access to right now. Uh, this also means I can start working on those materials in the top right corner. Automated wiring requires stators and cables. I don't have anything for stators yet. Mostly because they need steel beams, and I just got steel beams automated, and I need to make it better. But yeah, you combine stators with cables to get automated wiring, which you need for the next elevator thing. Then there's versatile framework, which also needs steel with modular frames, and I have a ton of those just lying around. So, uh, probably in an episode or two I should be able to get that done. Uh... Well, now that I got steel kind of in production, and it might take a while to fill up my storage, or just... Yeah. Uh, what else is there for me to do? Uh... I kind of want to get Caterium and Quartz over to my base. Mostly because that's like, some stuff that I need. Also, I don't even know if Caterium is exactly how you pronounce it. I pronounce it Caterium because it just sounds right. It might be Caterium. But uh, the nearest one is right over there, so that shouldn't take too long to get. There's some other ones? Oh gosh, those are so far away. Uh, luckily, there's a pier node really close to me. But I'm more worried about quartz. Mo mostly because the quartz is really, really far away. There's a ton of it in this area. They're all normal nodes, I believe, so I can get a lot of quartz from here. The problem is the distance. It's well over a thousand meters away. And I mean... Conveyor belts? But you know what? I want to try and do something a little different. So the little different thing is there is a cool item called the tractor. You plop down a little tractor dude. It's a cool cute little box. Basically, in the back, you can put in fuel, you can put biofuel in, or you can put coal in. Probably gonna use coal, because biofuel is uh, a bit lacking. But, uh, yeah, you get in the tractor. And you can try, you can drive around with it, that's pretty cool. You can also uh, record a path. So you see those little uh, nodes that appear behind me. That basically just means I can go anywhere, in any direction, and it'll record that path. And as long as I complete the loop, come back here, it'll have the path recorded. Then I can enable autopilot and leave the tractor, and it'll start doing the automated path. To, to the best of its ability. So, my idea is trying to automate a tractor system. Let's see if I can just transport all that quartz over to my main base without having to use a ton of conveyor belts. And you can delete the path by just deleting the path, so that's easy. 
Uh, how you can automate this is if you get a truck station, and truck stations do need to be powered, so I'm just powering into that one. But uh, if you have items in the truck station, and you get a tractor, drive underneath it, and you can say, give me some cargo. And it'll play a little animation where it gives you some cargo. I'm a little lower than intended, so it's not perfect. But uh, now, if I look at my storage, I got items. And I can also set it to unload, so I can go back in here, unload materials. Is it working? Did it work? But I guess it worked. <laughs> I guess the animation didn't play properly or something? Uh, oh yeah, last little bit that I didn't quite mention. You can have a fuel slot in the bottom left. And when it comes to inputs, you can put fuel in its own little slot, and then you can basically just auto-refuel your tractors. Okay, before I start this, I want to get like a stack of coal. Just take that with me, and just figure out how much coal I need for one trip. Let's see how much... I got a ton of spare coal. Come with me. Now for the real question of where do I want my main truck station to be? Uh... uh deforestation. <laughs> I'm gonna have it about here. Alright, so tractor station will go about here? Something like that? Actually, no. Truck station will go about, if I can get out of its range, about here. Yeah. Find somewhere to connect power. Uh, there. <laughs> yeah, because that, that, that's where I should connect power to. My, my zipline to get up here. <laughs> And I'll have a few more foundations back here when I work on storage. And to actually get down, nice smooth slope. Alright, uh, let's start our little journey, and I'm not going to record the actual path yet. I just uh, want to get an idea of how far we can go on one tank of coal. Also, when I was making my conveyor belts, I really tried to have them really high up so I wouldn't collide with anything as much. So, I hope that works out. Oh no, it's an enemy! Swept. <laughs> uh, I think we're starting to encounter a problem. The problem of uh, inefficient routes. Because if I got inefficient routes, I can't get where I need to go as easily. Oh gosh. No, no. <laughs> okay, let's try and modify this terrain using foundations. And just get a road to work so that it can actually travel. Oh, and it's right on top of some rocks. Don't block out the sun. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I can't wait to show off like this cool uh, road thing that I made. It's gonna look so cool, guys, you won't believe it. But then I, uh, I made it, and then I looked around just a wee bit longer, and then I found out that there was an even shorter way to get around, so I don't even need this uh, elaborate, expensive interstate thing. This is why I don't uh, finalize things until way later. It's actually just a little to the left. It's uh, It does have a lot of debris everywhere, which is probably why I didn't notice it in the first place. But, uh, yeah. Okay, I already went and got a power system over there. I don't have anything hooked up. I just want to see what a tractor is able to do to get over there. Alright, make sure it's all topped off. Alright, let's go! L a little bumpy, but I think we should be good. At least I got an easy way to remember where to go, since I got power lines. Oh, but can it make it up this hill? 
Uh oh. Come on, little buddy, you can do it, you can make it. I made it. Made it over. Is that Caterium over here? Or is this just iron? No, it's just iron. Oh, jeez! Oh, never mind, never mind. Get, get a tractor, get out of here! Uh. Anyways, we made it to the quartz land. And, uh, need to do something about this wildlife. Okay, so as a reminder, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we got six quartz nodes here. All of them are normal, so that's with normal miners, sixty, uh, three hundred and sixty. Is that one really far away? <laughs> and if we do math, they all generate sixty a minute. So da, 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 da. I can only work with four at the moment. So uh, let, oh, let's get down a small pace of... Oh, oh yeah, there was a pond up here. Let's see, do I have the stuff to... I need oscillators, which requires the quartz. Well, I, I guess I know what I'm doing at some point. Miner, miner, out of miner material. Actually, I just thought of this. Uh, so a truck station needs cables, which I don't have, so I gotta go all the way back to my base and get them. But a truck station actually has two inputs and two outputs. So in actuality, I can actually have three of these going into uh, one side of the truck station, and the other going into the other side of the truck station. And then the same goes for outputs, and I can basically just double all of that. Hmm. In that case, I can probably just get the other two miners. It's an unimpeachable strategy, Stanley. It saved me from railroads countless of times, or something like that. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Treatise. Manifesto. Alright, foundation's going up. You're not supposed to be here. One level higher! Alright, truck station isn't going there yet because I need the things. I guess this also means that the, that the truck can actually make the full journey. Of course, uh, I'm not sure if it'll collide with these presents when it makes, uh, makes a run, so I hope that that doesn't happen. And according to my uh, trip, I've actually got enough fuel. Which is actually pretty good for me, because <laughs> I was a little worried if uh, if it just wouldn't be enough. And I don't have- I forgot, I need steel. The whole reason why I came back was so I can get cables, but also I need some steel. And probably at this point I should have a lot more steel than I did before. Steel? <gasps> steel, 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 steel. You stole my steel, don't you mean I stealed it? Nee. <laughs> Alright, truck station will be about here, something like that. Yeah. I'll get you powered up and complete this. Alright, so I should be able to just throw these in here. And this wants to load in, that's good. Uh, so yeah, this just shows... Uh, Box. It's a box. All right. So how how I hooked it up? It should be able to work now. So uh, now I've just got to find some coal, which what's uh, the nearest coal around? Oops. Oh yeah, you're a thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> nearest coal that's unused is. Way over. Oh my gosh. There's multiple pure nodes there as well. Oh, ain't that kind of cool? Oh, gee. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. No. Uh, this is not going to be a repeat. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you think you, you think you can beat me that easily? Yeah. There we go. So as cool as using the uh, pure nodes 
for that might be. Uh, that's gonna have to wait till, like, way later. I need a closer coal source. Also, cheese the speed. Oh, uh, there's some um, thousand meters away that way. Eh, you know what, you know what, it's fine. That feels a waste, though, using two normals. But, uh, that I will at least have coal coming in. I could probably redirect it to more steel production later. And then any excess will just go towards, uh, uh, <laughs> fuel for the tractor. Yeah. Miner down, miner down, and the merger down with belts down on either side. Being connected to ye, uh, connected to you. And I need to run power, so these should be ready. All I gotta do is just run all the way back. Alright, now I just gotta make a little journey. Shouldn't take too long. I'm just gonna try and avoid all the little footballs everywhere. Might need to come through with a chainsaw and just get rid of a lot of that stuff. Honestly, I want to start using tractors, trucks, trains, drones a lot more, and, uh, well, uh, this whole challenge actually just helps with that. Okay, so I come down here, load up some cargo, and, uh, we'll check the cargo at some point, just gotta make sure it's good. Already, this is way cheaper than having a massive mile-long conveyor belt thing. Probably in the future, I might rework my uh, other area that's over there, the one that just has like several strings of conveyor belts, and rework it to work with tractors. But now I've got uh, quartz heading this way. So, finish line. And enable autopilot. So now it should. Wait. Well, uh, how much? Got some quartz. Get back your tractor. You didn't uh, unload everything. <laughs> Luckily, zipline is really fast. Goodness. With this speed, I should be able to like outrun it. Is it? Oh yeah, there it is. Look at him go. <laughs> oh, off he goes. And then it comes to a complete stop, gets its uh, little bit of a load, and is off at, uh, at some point. Oh, yep, yep, there it goes. Ah, uh, yeah, here it comes. Yeah, all right. Excuse me, sir, I would like to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> Okay, now that he's here, let's see, uh, hide path nodes. Yeah, all hidden. And dropped off the quartz, nice. You can even see the income item rate of 864 a minute, which, jeez, that's a lot. So, uh, last little thing to check on, I need 37.5 rock. What in the world are these abstract numbers, yikes. But uh, ba basically, I just need to make sure I got a silica production and rock quartz into quartz crystal production. Mostly because I need some of that stuff anyway, mostly for lighting that I need for episode 5, so I gotta get that up and running. Oh look, here comes the quartz crystal. So fast. Oh. Oh yeah. So yeah. Today we worked on getting trucks working. We got it on a pretty good path to get some quartz. I mean, look at all that flowing. That actually looks really nice. And then there's obviously the problem of trying to catch up with it. Honestly, pretty fun interaction, just getting the tractor to work. It's like the cutest little box rolling around. 
all the quartz gets sent off for processing. And of course, we got that all getting sent off to our uh, little storage area way over there. Oh yeah, and how could I forget about our steel production that we got going? Uh, it's a little shoddy, actually. Mostly because this one's not getting the steel at once. While well, like some stuff is, some stuff isn't. Ugh. I mean, it works, I'm getting steel, but I... Uh, I just need to improve it at some point. So yeah, I think that's just going to be the end of the episode. Um, so kind of a funny story real quick. Uh, as of right now, as I am recording this, I do not have internet. So, uh, I mean, I'll still have the video done. It's just I can't upload it at the very moment. So whenever you're seeing this is probably when I finally have internet again. I don't exactly know what caused it. But I know for sure that the uh, immense, massive cold that has just swept the entirety of America has uh, a little something to do with it. And uh, I do have one video planned, kinda. I'm still thinking on what I exactly want it to be. But yeah, originally I was gonna have it as a Christmas Eve video, but uh, due to the situation, I don't think that's gonna be possible. I still get it done and get it out at some point. That's just not going to be a thing till probably a week or two from now. But uh, I think it's just going to be into the episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it at least some amount. And honestly, huge thanks to everybody just watching my videos. It really does mean a lot when just random people decide, yeah, I'm going to watch this guy for now. I know there's like other YouTubers out there that have like more viewership or whatever but i'm gonna watch this guy it really means a lot checking me out but yeah that's uh that's just gonna end the episode thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed it at least some amount uh, <laughs> uh stay warm out there it's uh, a little chilly now and well uh y'all have a good night see y'all next year